In this video, we use Excel to demonstrate different types of advertising spending. How do you run advertising over time? For more information about uh, ad spend and ad stock, please watch the lecture video on this topic. In this example, as you can see here, we have a time span of 20 weeks and we have a total budget of $20 million. And uh, uh, there are three different ways that the advertising is run. Blitz, pulsing, and even. In Blitz, this $20 million has been spent on the first five weeks continuously. So very intensive five weeks of advertising and then nothing for the rest of the 15 weeks. And the second type is pulsing, very intensive week of advertising, and then three weeks of break, intensive advertising, three weeks of break, etc. So you run this pulse off, pulse off, pulse off form of advertising. That's what we call pulsing. And then for the third way, even, you run $1 million of advertising every week for the 20 weeks. The same total budget, $20 million, and they are spent differently over time running advertising. First, let's uh, create some charts for these different types of advertising spending. To do this, let's select the advertising spending of the 20 weeks and then go to Insert. So we're going to use 2D columns. And once you insert these, these column charts are going to show that for 20 weeks, and then you have $4 million each week in the beginning and nothing afterwards. And this chart does not have horizontal or vertical axis labeled. It's difficult to read. And then we're going to change the quick layout to add labels to this chart. We want the title and horizontal and vertical axis. Click on this one. The Horizontal axis is weak, and the vertical axis is spending a million dollars. So this is for blitz, and then similarly, we do this for pulsing. Select the data range, insert 2D columns, and then this is pulsing. Change the size of the chart and change the quick layout by adding the labels. And then week as spending in million dollars. And finally, even select the data range, insert to the columns. Let me put it here. It's a little bit awkward, but quick layout, adding labels, week. And as you see here, for the even spending, because everything is so low, Excel automatically sets the bar height as 1.2 million. And uh, instantly, because of the scale difference, we have lost the comparison to the other two charts because now it looks pretty high at 1 million, simply because the scaling is different. So to change this, double click on the vertical axis. And as you can see here, Excel has set the maximum automatically as 1.2. And uh, we want to change this. Let's say we change this to a larger number. We change this to 8. And the major and minor units automatically it's 1. That's fine. So this gives us the even. And similarly, let's adjust the blitz and the pulsing to, uh, up to 8 as well. Double click and change the maximum to 8. Click out. Double click and change the maximum to 8. Click up. And now we get the three different advertising spending. That's the first step. Second, knowing the ad spending, 
we want to calculate the ad stock of these three different types of advertising. So in this case, we are skipping the step of converting ad spending into GRP uh, because it complicates things. Let's just, assume, let's just assume advertising spending reflects the GRP that the, uh, these ads receive. And uh, we use that to calculate the ad stock. So in the beginning, the ad stock is the same as the spending in the first time period equals B5. And then enter. And we can copy this equation to the other cells. If you drag this to the right, it's going to copy over. As you see here, when you copy this, Excel is going to automatically shift the reference cell with the copies. So now we know that all the three have been set to the initial value. Now we're going to calculate the S stock in the second week. And remember that the equation for calculating S stock during week T is equal to the new advertising in week T plus lambda times the ad stock in week t minus 1. So here, based on this equation, what we have is the ad stock of bloods during week 2 is equal to the ad that we run in week 2 plus lambda here and already named it lambda, so you see lambda here in cell B1, times the ad stock of time t minus 1, so the ad stock during time period 1, and that is here in cell E5. That's the ad stock of time period 1. And then press Enter. So this gives us the ad stock of blitz during week 2. And then if we copy this down, as you're going to see, we don't have to retype this equation. It will automatically shift in the way that we want it all the way to week 20. Now let's take a look at week 6. So in week 6, the ad stock is equal to B10. So that's the ad run in week 6. Because this is blitz. So the ad spend here, the new ad here is zero. So, but it's the new ad plus lambda times the previous ad stock. So return here. And as you see, every formula has been correctly copied over. The beauty here is once you have calculated this ad stock, it's actually the same formula for pulsing and even. We just need to drag this to the right. Let's copy it over to the right. Let's take a look at the formula here. And uh, for pulsing, it's C6, the S band during week two for pulsing, plus lambda times the S stock of the previous week, that is in F5. And uh, the same goes with even. So it's the spend during this week, plus lambda times the previous stock. And now we have calculated ad stock for three different types of ad spend. As you see the distribution based on numbers, you can already see they're different. And uh, let's do two things. First, let me calculate the sum of the ad stock over time. And then I will copy this over. Uh, interestingly, as you can see here, the total S stock over time, it's slightly higher on bullets and uh, uh, a little bit lower on pulsing and even. This is not always true because this depends on the add response function that we looked at. And currently, the way I'm calculating it, I'm actually assuming a linear add response curve. In certain scenarios, even could be higher than blitz. But in this case, they're not that different in the case where lambda is 0.5.
And one way to look at this, interestingly, is if we add these S stock into this chart, we're going to see how S stock varies differently from uh, the advertising that they show. So in this chart, on top of it, right click your mouse and do select data. You're going to see this menu. Now we're going to add a new series to it. Click add. The new series name is S stock instead of just the budget itself. Delete whatever is there. The new series value would be the add stock values that we have calculated. Select this region using a mouse and then click OK and then click OK. So now you can see that in this chart you have two series. The blue color is the actual ad being run. How intensive are the ads being run? And the second series, the orange color we added, is the ad stock. As you see, in Blitz, the ad stock keeps building up over time when you run more ads. And then it starts to decay. Once you stop running ads, eventually it disappears. And in the case of 0.5 Lambda, the ad stock actually is gone by week 12. And if we change this Lambda value, let's say 0.9, you're going to see this the ad stock would retain very well over time. It's off the chart, literally off the chart. If it becomes 0.1, let's say, and then the ad stock decays much faster by week 7, it's pretty much gone. Now let's put this back to 0.5. So similarly, we can do this to pulsing. Right click, select data, and add. This is add stock. And then choose the series values, delete what's here. And then select this pulsing range. Click OK, click OK. So as you see, uh, when you run pulsing, the, the S stock goes zigzag. So it will go up during the week it's run and decays up, decays up, decays. That's how S stock changes with pulsing. And then finally for even, right click, select data, and add, name it add stock, and in series values, delete what's here, and then use your mouse to select the even add stock, and then click OK, OK. So as you see here, let me move that, make this larger. So as you see here, uh, in the even situation where your S stock actually keeps accumulating, and then eventually it saturates, uh, all these values would change with lambda. If lambda is small, everything decays fast. If lambda is large, everything returns well and uh, aggregates over time, actually. So again, back to 0.5. So this example shows you how to calculate ad stock, also demonstrate how advertising and ad stock over time changes using column charts.